Uh, welcome back to Scarf, I'm Greg and I'm going to make you the Macbeth inspired cocktail of our new menu based on Tricotu from JR Scarf. So the Macbeth called the Thames Steeple. Uh, the idea was to be as Scottish as possible. Uh, so what we went for is to pick inspirations from the most iconic Scottish dish which is the Haggis Lips and Taddies. So what we did, we infused our own whiskey. Right here, Scarf's whiskey, 15 year old space side, made uh, especially for us here at Scarf. We infuse that with burned parsnip. We burn um, the big pieces of parsnip in the oven for 20 minutes at 200 degrees, make it nice caramelized kind of flavor to bring all the, the spices of the, of the parsley now. We leave it infuse for six hours and then we strain it out. So we're gonna have 35 ml of that because that's quite a strong whiskey as you can see, on 52.1% alcohol is quite a, a strong one. Then we're gonna have 15 ml of Benedictine, medieval liqueur, spices once again, then we have 20 ml of honey and maize syrup. So maize is that red membrane around the nutmeg seed in the nutmeg fruit that gives that nice spiciness in all the haggis recipes that we've been finding. So really, uh, really a nice, uh, nice nod to, uh, to the haggis and that is once again. Uh, 20 ml of uh, lemon to balance the whole thing, shaken hard, and then I'm going to float it with a tight touch of. Rioja wine, okay? And I'll explain you a bit more about the garnish later. There We put this in a black and copper cup, keep that uh, idea of medieval once again, you know, we can imagine Macbeth really slamming his drink against another one to enjoy his friends. Cube ice. As I said, there's going to be a float of Rioja wine. This is actually to represent the blood of the enemies that Macbeth killed on his way to being a king. It's a tiny float. There we are. And we garnish this with a pickled parsnip, baby parsnip, and then a touch of grated nutmeg. There you go. Thanks, Steeple. Enjoy.